Hey you guys, I'm Lizzie. Um, thanks so much for all your questions. This is vlog 8, I think, which is amazing. We've been like chatting like this for about two months. It's been awesome, so thank you. Um, I'm just going to launch straight in. So the first question was from Soph, uh, who asked, when it comes to everyday fashion, slash clothes, and fashion for events and gigs, etc., uh, who are your go-to designers and brands? Um... I really love fashion. I mean, I don't think that's really a surprise to anyone here, but um, I think, you know, like I have some real loves. I really love high fashion. Um, you know, there's New Zealand designers who I really love, um, but I kind of have some some favorites on the high street as well. And I think for every day uh, where quite often I will hit up like um, Zara um, or Topshop, uh, I think those are really great great shops um and it's quite cool you know i find like if i buy um expensive sort of signature pieces that are like a kind of a big fashion house um then it's really cool to have those for the long term and that sort of helps me to justify the price but if i want something that's kind of on trend um that i can swap it and out then that's when i'll go for something a bit more high street um because it just, you know, it means that I can play around with trends without it costing me an absolute fortune. <laughs> it's a very expensive addiction. Um, but for events and gigs, really depends on what the gig is, um, or the event. But I really love, like, um, I really love Cope. You know, I've worn to release Cope's stuff for ages, and I think she's ridiculously, amazingly talented. Um... So I love wearing her stuff, but also I really love Hailwood. I think he's incredible, and like I wore Hailwood to the VNZMAs, and I loved that dress. It was so cool. Um, I also really like World and Kate Sylvester, and yeah, I'm like a real I love Kiwi fashion. So we're so lucky. We've got some great designers. Um, then the next question was from Wayne, who said, "Do you think it's sad that most female artists have to strip half naked?" Or have some silly gimmicks to make it big in the industry? Well, it sort of depends on who the artist is, really, and whether it comes from them. Like, you know, I do think that a, a lot of artists are inherently really comfortable with their sexuality and with kind of putting it out there. And I think as long as it's coming from them, then I think that's just an extension of who who they are as people and, and as artists. Um... So no, then I don't think it's sad because I think it's just them being true to themselves. But, you know, I think when it feels like it's coming from a record exec or a manager or something like that, that's when it just feels kind of hollow. So I don't know, I think it's about being true to yourself as a person on stage and in your real life. And, you know, I, I don't think that anyone can really ask for more than that. Um, don't know if that answered that question. <laughs> Um, and the gimmicks thing it depends, you know, I mean, I totally, totally know that there are gimmicks in the industry, you know, I've kind of seen them behind the scenes. Um, but I think some of them, like Lady Gaga, for example, I don't think it's a gimmick. I think she's just a little bit nutty and like in a really awesome way. <laughs> like I think she just like, you know, shatters the boundaries and just goes for it. Um, so no, I don't think that's sad. I think that's awesome. <laughs> um, Johnny asked, what's your guilty pleasure song? Oh, man, I'm totally going to give myself away here. <laughs> um, I probably have to say probably Mariah Carey Fantasy. <laughs> I know it's really embarrassing. Um, although I love Mariah, so I'm not going to be embarrassed about that. Um, or like J-Lo and Ja Rule. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> I grew up in that era. <laughs> um... Matt asked, what is your all-time favorite Christmas gift you've received? Um, when I was six, I received a puppy uh, by the name of Lace. She was a black Labrador, and she stuck around until two Christmases ago. So she was definitely my favorite ever Christmas present that I've ever received. Um, and my last question was from Emily um, from Twitter. Hi, Emily. Um what is your favorite Christmas song, and can you sing a bit of it, please? Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, speaking of Mariah, <laughs> my favorite Christmas song is probably All I Want for Christmas is You, which I know is very cliche, but it's like I just hear it in the bells and stuff, and I just I just get really Christmassy. <laughs> but I don't know if I can, like,
don't do it justice singing it here on my couch. So, um, I don't know. Should I have a go? Mm, I might regret this. <laughs> okay, if this is terrible, terrible, don't judge. <laughs> I'm like, my throat's all dry now as well. Okay, um, all right, what key is it in? I don't know, I'll just pick one. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own. More than you will ever know. What else can I do? All I want for Christmas is you. Might have been terrible. Apologizing. I think I might have gone through a few keys there and I'm pretty sure I got the words wrong. But that's my favorite Christmas song. <laughs> So now that I've thoroughly embarrassed myself, um, thanks for your questions, guys, and I will speak to you next week if I've recovered from the shame. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.